Uh, let us see this uh, expression. Uh, forget about that theory, I will tell you later. Now, let us say f is a function in three variables and now we are supposed to minimize it. Okay. So, uh, how I am trying to minimize it is, I will just take these two first and I combine them. Then what do I get? You can clearly see that if I pull out x prime and y, z prime as common, there will be y and y prime remaining. Therefore, x prime z prime into y plus y prime plus I leave the next term as it is x y prime z prime plus combine these two. It is clearly it is very clear that y and z are common in that and then x and x prime are uh, remaining. If I pull out x, y and z then what do I get x plus x prime and then leave the next one as it is x, x y prime z x y prime z right and now uh, we can clearly see that it is 1 and it is 1 so what is it x prime z prime plus x y prime z prime plus y z plus x y prime z now from the remaining from these two you can easily see that uh, you could pull out z prime these two right then what is remaining x prime plus x y prime z prime plus from these two you could easily see that I could pull out z as common then what is remaining y plus x y prime z right then now you can distribute this plus over dot then what do I get <coughs> x plus x prime plus x into x prime plus y prime hmm, into z prime plus now you can you distribute this plus over dot then what do I get y plus x into y plus y prime into z right then it is obviously it is x plus x prime therefore uh, what you get this is 1 and you can expand these two then the solution is x prime z prime plus y prime z prime plus this y plus y prime is obviously 1 and you can expand this to y and you know this one so it is y z plus x z therefore when i try to minimize this uh, six terms i got four terms in which each term is containing two literals right so just remember this i'll just you know let us let let us put it here remember this remember that we got this expression and now you know the derivation right so using this procedure i am showing you that for this expression when i minimize it i got this expression now let me see if there is any other procedure available i want to minimize the same one by doing some other procedure oh i have i actually cut off the question okay the next three terms are x prime y z x prime y z plus x y z plus x y prime z right this is the expression which i was trying to minimize and i found out that finally in one way if i minimize it i got this answer right and now let me try another way other way to minimize it so let me minimize these two and let me minim combine these two and let me combine these two and see what happens see this if i combine these two these two terms clearly what is the common x and x prime y x prime z prime right sorry the common part is x prime z prime and what is remaining y plus y prime and now in these two uh, these two if you pull out what we could pull out as common is y z if i pull out y z as common then x plus x prime is remaining and now in these two if i pull out what you know what could i pull out as common x y prime x y prime then i get z plus z prime right now you know that these are all ones now we get x prime z prime plus y z plus x y prime this is what i get and now we cannot combine any two any two terms anymore here also you cannot combine any two terms further you cannot decrease the number of uh, in mean terms see for the same expression when i try to minimize it i got this one as well as this one and both are actually uh, irredundant irredundant means there is nothing redundant in this you cannot uh, simplify this further nor you can simplify this further 
both are irredundant and both are irreducible irreducible means we cannot reduce them further so there is no redundant term here as well as there is no you know reducibility further so what can you understand from this even when you try to minimize a function uh, you might get many different functions which are which cannot be reduced further right and moreover uh, even though you know in these two you can say that this is minimal right but then there is a chance that not in this example there is a chance that i might get one more minimal expression which contains different terms but then the same number of terms and the same number of literals per term so minimal is not always unique and moreover there could be and moreover see this even though it is irreducible it is not minimal so two things you should observe is if you have decreased the simplified the terms in such a way that you are not able to further simplify it and you are even proving that i cannot further simplify it it does not mean that whatever answer you got is minimal that is first thing you keep in mind because it is an example you cannot simplify it further but it is not you know minimal also and second thing is there could be many minimal expressions for the same function this might not be the only one you could get even more not for this example for some other examples so keep this in mind and in order to define all this we are going to introduce new terms the terminology and the terminology is like this irredundant and irreducible irreducible means we cannot reduce it further irredundant means in the expression there is nothing no term which is redundant that is irredundant okay now watch this irredundant or irreducible expressions an sop which means sum of products expression uh, of uh, an sop expression from which no term or literal can be deleted without altering its logical value is called irredundant or irreducible expression what does it mean they are saying that if you take this one you cannot delete a term or you cannot delete a literal term means this one min term i mean not min term means it contains all the literals term is nothing but i know you can take either a product of two variables two literals or a sum of two literals it is called as a term now they are saying that if we cannot delete any term or any literal without altering the meaning which means if you try to delete it the meaning will change right then such a term is called irredundant expression such an expression is called redundant expression now this is very important this note an irredundant expression is not necessarily minimal it is irredundant but it is not necessarily minimal right so in the exam when you when you get a expression and when you are struck at that point and you are not able to further you know reduce it don't say that there is minimal that could be wrong an irredundant expression is not minimal nor the minimal expression is uh, always unique which means you, when i try to minimize it i might get an answer you might get an answer both might be right both might be minimal and both might be different right it is unlike uh, you know finite automata in finite automata what happened when many people try to you know minimize the finite automata everyone is supposed to get the unique minimal finite automata but here the answer could be it is it is not true every anyone depending on the procedure you follow you might get a minimal answer i might get a minimal answer got it now let's see what is the relationship between this minimal answers and you know irreducible everything what is the class of it